Well, it finally finished raining and we are ready to get back to work on our lean-to project off of our Conex. Put a lot of work into it so far. We've got the rafters up last time and Eric's already measured where we're gonna be putting the one buys that we're making in order to screw our roof panels on. We hope to get that all done today. We haven't had the best weather and we've got a little bit of some nice skies coming. So I hope we can get it all done. We have this massive pile to work from and that's the first thing we're starting with. Bo, come here. Come here, Bo. You gotta come get it. Come on, drill. There we go. Drill. Okay, it's going pretty quickly. These are all the one bys that are just kind of like the byproduct when we cut all these two by eights in the beams. And I counted how many we have, and we're gonna have more than enough to this project. We are gonna be putting a lot of siding on this um, structure, so uh, we're we'll probably gonna have to cut some more for that. But as far as the roof is concerned, this is more than gonna do enough for us. I gotta get that edge over there. We'll cut the ends off, go through, put a bunch of screws, and then we can start working on the 40 foot section. But this is looking really cool. It's gonna look really nice from the inside. We're gonna kind of have these different shaped one bys, and they're gonna have live edge on them. Actually pretty good. We've only managed to drop this whole box of screws and spill it one time, this whole project. So hopefully that'll be the last time. We're gonna get these top ones in. I get that one. And then I think this side will be done. It's looking good. We're getting closer. This has been a long project.
damn this rain. <laughs> Here, I thought I could wear my sundress today. It's so off on me. I used to love the rain. I used to love it before we lived here. So you ran for a while. Yeah, your perspective changes. Now you despise it. I don't despise it. I still don't mind it. It's just... Um... Oh. Okay. Looking good. We're getting there. Two more sections. We need, uh, we're gonna need two more sections. One big one, one little one. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit shorter, but. Hey, those are like some good side ones you're pulling too. It's got that flat edge on one side. That's probably gonna be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Let's see if we can slide these. No Let's going not on use that one. one. Okay. We have better fine. ones. We have better ones. Yeah, fine. Yeah, I know what you mean. Whoa. I need some support because I'm doing all the work. The roof needs some support. <laughs> Is that okay or do you need the flares? I'm going to need some I have to move this. Getting there. It's supposed to stop raining at 4. And it's like 6. Hasn't stopped raining, but <laughs> we got to get this done. It'll be easy once the roof's up. We can put all our tools underneath. It won't get wet, but we're almost there. We got to get that last section. Then we've got to go grab all of our metal roofing. I think we have 21 panels. We have a lot of metal roofing. We bought it like months ago. Um, and we'll get that up. We'll be one step closer. I gotta get off of here. Start with those. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a gymnast. The rain is motivating me because yeah, everything's getting so wet. Your break. Okay, dinner time. We have some some beans for dinner, a couple fried eggs on top and some bread, and then we're gonna get back out there. It looks like the rain's stopping. And it's seven o'clock. So hopefully we have a few more hours of work. We're gonna go grab our metal roofing. Hopefully we can get it up tonight.
the sun came out, but I don't know what happened. It just got like extremely cold. So we're layered up. We got our beanies and our gloves on. We're gonna start on our, bring our metal roofing over there. And over here is kind of some of the reason why we are building this big structure. We have our stuff just everywhere. We've got the boat, which is I think from the tongue to the back of the motor, it's about 23 feet. This is gonna go under there on the long side. We have our snow machines back there. We have multiple snow machine trailers. We have the Polaris. We have all this stuff that's gonna fill up that area. But our metal roofing, like I said, we're running out of our room, is underneath here. We're gonna put on our little uh, red sled. We're gonna pull it over there. Uh, one side is gonna get seven sheets, the short side, and the other side's gonna get 14. So we got our work cut out for us. This is three feet wide and it's um, 12 feet long. And we went with the silver again. We did our woodshed with the silver. We really like the color. And a bonus, the silver is a little bit cheaper than the colored stuff. Okay, 20 foot section is partially up. We got it uh, you know, perfectly square and then I just went along this little top one by. I put in all the metal roofing screws. Uh, we'll still have to do the rest of it. We're gonna start working on that side next. But first, let's go underneath and check it out. Well, I think we're both really happy with this thing. Uh, it's, it's more than tall enough. We kind of wanted to do this one uh, a little different than the woodshed. We learned a lot on the woodshed. This is basically the same design. It's just a lot heavier duty, or if that makes sense. We did two by eights, which we're really happy with. The one by's look awesome from down here. And this side is the easier side. So it's 20 feet, so it's not as long as the 40 foot side. And this side, we are gonna put siding. It's not gonna be like fully enclosed, but we'll do uh, the same type of siding we did on the woodshed, which is kind of like live edge siding. We'll do it on uh, these two sections right here, and then the front and the back are gonna be open. So you can just drive on through this one, but it's it's turning out cool. It's really fun to see it kind of taking shape. But we have uh, 14 panels left and we're gonna to try to get those up tonight.
really know what time it is, but it's late. The sun's down. The air is crisp. It is clearly an early fall, is what I'm gonna say, because the leaves are falling off, even though we're still in the end of August. But Eric did a really good job, and we've got a lot of work to do tomorrow <laughs> to finish this thing. It's pretty neat, though. Polaris gets some cover tonight. Long day. Let's head in. So it is August 28th and we got our first frost last night. <laughs> so our first fall frost, I think I kind of suspected it. It said it was gonna be 36, but usually it's a little bit colder and it definitely was very frosty this morning. I should have harvested these squash before, but I'm gonna get them harvested now. We have to feed the bees some sugar water and then we're gonna be starting on our project. I think that's a pumpkin. Is he okay, pretty much? Looks good. So that's just a little damage right here. Yeah. I thought. I don't have any time painting it now. I have to eat this one for dinner. Okay. You feel one more? No, you can't paint anymore. Okay, I'll just come back. But they're still mad. Right, we're all done and we're ready to get to work. Well, we still got a lot of screws we gotta put in. We're just using these little metal roofing screws and these are designed, uh, they're self-tapping, but they go through metal and they're designed to screw into wood. So we're doing some more of those. We're gonna drive along into Polaris, we're gonna do the bottom and then we're gonna take this string and we're gonna mark, or we're gonna staple it to this one by, we're gonna go over the roof and staple it to the other side of it so we have a straight line where I drill through it so I'm not missing and putting holes in our roof. I just gotta figure out how to screw all these screws in. I think I'm gonna go up there and just slide across. Okay, here we go. Mother trucker. Done. Side's done. Well, that does it for the metal roofing. It's all on there. It looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. 
Uh, next step is we're going to go back over to our one bys. We're going to start with that pile and we're going to start putting some siding up on this thing. These are getting thin, so probably. Yeah, I think we can put this in. How are we going to get up there? Just kind of, can you reach that far? How are you? Can you go a little more my way? Or no? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we still have a lot of work to do. We've done two sides. We have seven more to do on the big side, but we had to hose it off and check it out. This looks amazing. Absolutely love it. So many different colors in the wood. It's going to fade over time, but it's still going to look, it's going to look great. Really looking good. Well, we've reached the point of having no more one buys. Uh, we used that whole pile. Uh, we got almost four sections done, but now we are gonna start cutting some more wood. Uh, over the past week, we've been collecting more wood from our back forest. It's getting pretty muddy over there, but we managed to get about 20 logs. This one's already cut to the right length that we need. I'm gonna put one more uh, blade on this sawmill and that should finish up this whole project for us. And we ended up going through, this will be our third blade on the sawmill for the whole entire project. So not too bad.
some that are really dirty. There's some aren't too, that aren't too dirty. How's this one? This one isn't too dirty at all. Okay, let's measure this one. Take about half it. Uh, can, yeah. Oh, yeah. I heard that didn't hold thing. No, it's not Tim Allen that does that. It's a neighbor. What's the neighbor's name? Yeah, I'm just showing your eyes like that. Wilson. Isn't that his name? Wilson? Oh, neighbor? Wilson. Okay, another wall done. It's not going too quickly, but we're getting it done. What we're doing is we're measuring a section and then we're going over the sawmill and we're cutting two logs at the same measurement. We're milling them, bringing them over, putting up the wall, and then we're measuring the next section, doing the same thing. These walls, since they're a little bit shorter and we've got some good diameter to the logs over there, they're taking a little under two logs to do. So I'm pretty confident that we have more than enough logs. The biggest section is gonna be this back section because I believe this one's like 11 feet. This will be our, our biggest one, but we're gonna keep on working. Can we drop him? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, there was. Oh. Whoa. 
<laughs> that was tricky. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're gonna fire up the generator one more time. We're gonna get the hose back over here and we're gonna hose this all down one more time. It's sawdust and everything over, all over it and we're gonna get it looking good. <laughs> Whoa, you can like play games so you like see people through the holes, huh? Well, we still got a couple little tiny things to do to officially finish this thing. We got to pick up our paint still, and we're gonna put some metal eaves on the top. But that's it, this thing is pretty much done. We're very excited, this was a lot of work. It was one of the biggest projects we've tackled. The sawmill worked awesome, uh, Errol and I worked awesome together, and we got this whole entire thing built. We're really proud of it. Let's take a look at kind of the whole thing. Uh, the 20 foot section over here, I mentioned before, it's 20 feet long, 12 feet wide, we're leaving the back open on this one. We want to be able to drive through. We want to be able to plow snow out the other side. And then also on the back, we're going to be keeping a lot of our spare lumber and, and spare metal back there. And then over on the 40 foot side, this is pretty much going to be, I'm going to call it like a long-term parking. This is going to be for the boat primarily. Uh, unless it's summer, the boat will be out and we'll have all the snow machines in here. This section's pretty much fully enclosed. So not a lot of snow should be getting in here. We like to do the live edge siding. Uh, we like how it looks and also allows for a lot of airflow through here. It works great on the woodshed. We barely get any snow coming in on that thing. We are probably gonna add a lot of different things to this uh, little shed. We'll do some hooks. We can hang dip nets in here, fishing poles, tools, shovels, you name it. But that's it. This thing turned out great. And one last thing to do, we're gonna see how everything fits in here.